Hi, my lovely. It's how are you? So we have a new hair day. I don't know what I think. But I think I want to go a bit more gold up. But it is slightly more golden on the end. But let me know what you guys think. This is my top 10 things I feel like you should have in your wardrobe. Um, in your kind of capsule wardrobe. If you don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, it's basically a wardrobe that's very condensed. You have very classic pieces that you can wear in different ways and with each other. Um, that's essentially what a capsule wardrobe is. But I thought this video would be really helpful for anyone that wants to jig up their wardrobe. Maybe your kind of style has changed. You want more classic pieces, pieces that you can keep wearing. Um, so these are my top 10 pieces that I feel like are staples that you can just throw on with multiple different things and they just work. In, in the video you'll see me style each piece I suggest. Before we get started please hit the subscribe button guys. We're growing, I'm loving that you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out. And please like the video, comment down below, let's engage with each other and let's get into the video that I am a sucker for. I am a sucker 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 for a white shirt. You always find me with a white shirt nearby, especially if I'm going on holiday. No matter where I go on holiday, in my notes I kind of wrote this down as white shirt slash long line white shirt. Shirts are of course very, very smart and sophisticated pieces but you can dress them up, dress them down. But I also love how you can play around with a white shirt in terms of the length. You can obviously go for a traditional white shirt which would end at the waistline. Um, but I also have some really, really nice white shirts. One is from Bershka and one is from Zara. Um, I don't know which one I'll style in the video but I'll put it on the screen. I remember when I went to Cyprus with the girls I dressed it um, with a bikini and throw it over. You can wear it as a dress, you can wear it as a long top. I really, really like white shirts um, and I think that they are honestly if you want to do if you ever want something quick a white shirt with some nice blue jeans like a blue jean like this color and any shoe so whether that be a heel or a boot or an ankle ankle sock boot or Doc Martens or whatever you like put those shoes on and any bag to go with it and you're always gonna look like you made more effort and um, also a white shirt with a red lip clean hair off the face red lip white shirt and whatever you want on the bottom always looks so clean next thing is a blazer i'm very very picky with blazers because i feel like the way they look on other people when it comes to me trying it on it doesn't look that way i feel like i can't imagine them on me um but blazers are just amazing for everyone um i would say that um an oversized blazer is the size that i would say go for i feel like a fitted blazer looks just as nice um, but I feel like a fitted blazer has that business work look whereas if you have an oversized blazer I feel like it's a little bit more casual it's not so formal I probably will style a blazer in this video with like a crop top and then um, really really loose baggy jeans and some heels Jenny Jenkins I love her she is amazing at pulling off that kind of she's so clean with it and um, you can really play around with colour with blazers and um, you can just dress them up, dress them down. I love the way a hoodie looks. A hoodie with a black blazer on top, or like they are so key. Um, if I was to say get any colour in a blazer, start off with black. Brilliant black oversized blazer. Yes. Okay, black belt. Belt. Um, and in particular, black is the colour I'm talking about. Or you can go for black or brown, but a nice belt you wouldn't think it but a belt can really change an outfit any outfit um so of course most people when you think of wearing a belt you'd wear it with jeans um i have the gucci Gigi belt i know basic but i love this belt this changes how an outfit looks so nicely you can even get it with a, a subtle kind of head or you can get it with i know if i wanted a statement head like the gg belt um but i just find that it really transforms an outfit i went to winter wonderland with my boyfriend last year um and i wore kind of like my brown oversized teddy coat with a white white just um t-shirt and then some black shorts some black leather shorts and i threw on my gucci gg belt and it just made the whole outfit look more put together i feel like a belt is an amazing transition between the top and bottom of course like a, for example a white shirt a white top and then some jeans would always look nice it would always flow nicely but i felt like adding a belt just adds a little bit of character makes it look like you made a little bit more effort and it depending on the style of the belt can make the outfit look more expensive I love a belt for a shirt. If you want to bring out your hips a bit more, put a nice belt on and just cinch it and it's going to look amazing. Brown belts are really, really nice. I have yet to find a brown belt that I love. 
a brown belt I feel like in the summertime or with a brown bag if there is one thing us girls have been told or have seen a hundred times and always looks clean no matter who is wearing it it is a little black dress your LBD no you can get a little black dress in multiple ways so a little black dress if you don't know it's very self-explanatory it is a black dress that's small <laughs> it doesn't have to be tight it doesn't have to be skimpy it doesn't have to be anything it just has to be a little black dress um i have the one that i picked up from zara if you watched my zara haul from a couple months ago um i picked up the satin black dress with the thin straps a dress a loose little black dress well, you could play around however you want calf high boots um ankle boots flip flops doc martens throw on a leather jacket up be versatile with this piece it's such a good piece and you can find a little black dress anywhere on high street you wear a little black dress with something like this and just throw it over the top um put some tights with it if you want to wear it without tights wear a t-shirt under underneath it but yeah i like the concept and the freeness and the creativity you can have with a little black dress next is a leather jacket if you don't know <laughs> why don't you know i really really do believe in investing in a leather jacket but nowadays you can actually still find very cheap good quality leather jackets I actually am pointing out leather jackets and I want to point out three kind of colours that I've, I have that I absolutely love. Of course the classic black, um, Zara do amazing, um, Zara and Bershka are my two go to's for a leather jacket, um, Zara have really heavy ones but Bershka have very light weight ones, just as detailed but that, that there is a difference in the weight, pair it with a dress pair it with a t-shirt, a jean, a skirt, a... you guys know, leather jackets are brilliant. Um, but I actually would say, if you already have a good quality black one, I would actually say invest in another colour. I have two red leather jackets, I believe, one from Zara, one from Bershka, and they just transform, transform an outfit, um, especially if I'm just wearing like a white t-shirt and jeans, instead of just throwing on a black leather jacket which will still look nice but I want a bit more I want to give the outfit a bit more life a bit more character I throw on my red one I also have the yellow one that one looks amazing I, I love my yellow one I throw the yellow one on and it just gives the outfit a bit more personality a bit more brightness and it just makes you stand out a bit more I actually also have a white leather jacket um, which just looks amazing in an all white outfit There's white black red and yellow love I love 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 those pieces so blue jeans whatever style you feel works best for you is fine but blue staple jeans and I mean jeans preferably with as least detail as possible kind of like a, a medium kind of denim blue um, with as minimal detail as possible uh, so no rips no kind of tears kind of uh, maybe a little bit skinny depends on your style what you like but that classic blue and the reason why I say minimum detail is that so it can you can wear it with different outfits so these blue jeans I recently got from Zara I love the color of them I, f I love the shape of them where they're not too skinny but they're not too baggy as well I really really like the end of the cuff detailing on them as well because it allows me to wear these with trainers if I wanted to but also have that really cute sophisticated look with heels if I wanted to as well classic classic pieces you can't go wrong with them which is another jean but it's just a classic black jean again in whatever style you want so if you like the mum jean you like the baggy look or you like the fitted look high waisted low waisted completely up to you I like a high waisted jean or a mid rise you will never ever catch me in a low rise jean nah uh, uh, not with this belly <laughs> um, but yeah so you want to um, get a black jean again it looks amazing all the time black jeans will go with everything Next thing are tees, um, and specifically plain tees, um, oversized tees, oversized plain tees, yes. So I feel like with all the pieces I've mentioned in this video, at some point you probably would have seen me style those pieces with a white, white plain tee underneath. 
that's how versatile they are t-shirts are amazing and um, you can get them in any style I personally like the v-neck or kind of um, the curved t-shirts I don't like t-shirts that come up to here just because I find them a bit restrictive um, I like that loose slouchy t-shirt sort of feel um, my favorite place for that kind of style of t-shirt is H&M I would say get the following three colors black gray and white um, you can't go wrong with them um, I said plain just because I feel like obviously if you get a printed tee it could clash with some pieces that might not always work um, you could get printed tees depends on your style I do have printed tees for staple pieces just get the plain one denim shorts denim shorts are a classic and you just know it um denim shorts in the summer denim shorts in the winter whatever you want but a nice to suggest something not so fitted maybe something quite loose but they are the bottoms that go so well with flats any flats so um ballerina flats um loafers uh flip flops sandals whatever you name it um i feel like shorts are the bottoms that go really well with those kind of shoes um, and shorts always look more playful and youthful I think um, and I also love obviously you love shorts for when you go on holiday the look of a loose t-shirt with some shorts underneath and some trainers or whatever flats and just a nice handbag look really nice on most body types um, a mid-rise short denim short looks really really good and then last but not least is a good quality bag now I think I've mentioned it on my channel before but I have <laughs> I have an expensive eye when it comes to bags I do like an ex you know I like I like an expensive bag I can't lie I like I like a bit of Louis I like a bit of Givenchy throwing a bit of Dior like I just like oh <laughs> Bit gaichi. I'm joking. I do. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I do like a bit of an expensive bag. Okay. Um, to each their own. Okay. But I find that if I'm going to spend money on anything, it's a bag. I will never spend money on something that I can't use multiple times. But a bag you can use every single day. Um, depending on what type of bag you invest in. But I really, really love. Um my Fichette Matisse, my Louis Vuitton Fichette Matisse. If you know me, I have, I eyed up this bag for about two years before I got it because I was just like, this is such an investment, this is such an investment, this is, am I gonna love this bag? But after two years, um, after researching the bag, going to see it, watching reviews, everything, I finally invested in the bag. And boy, have I love, do I love the bag. But what I say is a good quality bag now, within your price range, of course, Zara do some of the best bags Ever. They do amazing dupes for some expensive bags, but they also do amazing bags on their own. Um, get a good quality bag. Um, Colour wise, I would say black or brown, preferably black. Um, and also in whatever hardware you wear the most. Now, I wear mostly gold jewellery, that's my preference. My belts, for example, are usually gold. So it only makes sense that I would get a bag that matches the hardware that I wear the most to go with all your outfits. And you want to get a bag that is versatile, big enough to, for you to store this is everything you need in it and a bit more but not too big where it's, it's overtaking the outfit and um, but you want to invest in a really nice bag I won't tell you guys what, bra what bag to get because it depends on absolutely on what your style is your price range except I have three bags that I love the most my three bags that I'm loving at the moment the most is like I said number one my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse um, which is a crossbody and a top handle bag um, and I love in particular as well I love that it's crossbody because it allows me to have that loose that kind of loose slouchy casual look but I could also hold it top handle and have that very elegant sophisticated style it, it looks very different in both ways so I really love a bag that can allow you to wear it in different ways so another bag that I really love is the Zara I believe city bag um, which comes in black and red I only have it in the black at the moment um, again top handle and also allows you to wear it cross body I really like the plainness of it and it resembles the Celine Oh my god, I forgot it. I've forgotten the name of it. It resembles a Celine bag, that really clean leather look. Um, again, works really well with all the pieces that I've said. And then another bag that I really like is my Louis Vuitton Neverfall um, in the MM size, the medium size. I love the colour of it. The brown is so beautiful. Their brown is a really, really rich 
brown with a really nice red undertone um so yeah i really like that piece as well because it's a shoulder bag and it's a bucket bag bucket bags look amazing with most outfits um so yeah i'll definitely bucket bag totes look amazing um so yeah those are probably my top bags i would recommend or at least the shape and style of them um so yeah i really like those those structured bags um i feel like they're very staple shapes and sizes for most people but yeah guys that is the end of my top 10 must have outfit pieces for your staple wardrobe or your um capsule wardrobe um i'm still building mine i'm still getting kind of down with what i'm looking for and figuring out my, what my personal style is now um you don't have to restrict yourself to just those pieces like i said you can definitely play around but i feel like having if you had a wardrobe of just those things i feel like you would be set to put them together in a different way and have multiple outfit choices and just kind of you know grab the tee grab the jeans grab the bag grab the leather jacket or you know um grab the the long line shirt grab the bag and grab the belt do you know what i mean so it's very easy for you to just you know navigate that wardrobe <laughs> so yeah that was my quick little video <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below any other videos you want to see and also what's in your staple wardrobe what would be your top three outfit pieces um let me know about shoes as well thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video take care